Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bernard and in this video, we're gonna be talking about things that have happened last night and today. And first of all, I just wanna announce that we just reached 2K subs. Yay. And yeah, if you haven't noticed, I just upgraded my microphone and now I think it sounds much better. What do you think? So yeah, I decided to upgrade my setup. That's because yeah, I believe my my audio setup is now really good, especially um, whenever I create a lesson for my upcoming course. I'm going to talk about that later on. I, it sounded like, it sounded bad. So I decided to get a new set of microphone and audio interface. And yeah, I hope it's going to help you guys um, understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, because I believe sometimes my words is not being recorded. So yeah, here it is, a new microphone. But anyway, what we're going to talk about is the new course that I've been working on. And it's going to be published somewhere around first week of July or maybe second week. So I'm hoping that will be published somewhere around those dates. So yeah, I'm looking forward to your response or feedbacks. Anyway, last night, if you don't know, or if you are a developer, if you are a Shopify developer, you probably heard about this Shopify Unite conference. So it's, it's a conference that they're talking about upcoming changes and things that they've been working on to improve Shopify, and especially the API or the um, development part. So yeah, I have watched it and it was really amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not going to pretend I didn't like it. It was really good. And the things, uh, I'm going to talk about the things that I really liked about it. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the most amazing part from the um, Sh Shopify conference or Shopify Unite conference. And that is Shopify will no longer um, deduct any revenue share from your Shopify app, Shopify app's revenue. So yeah, that's really amazing. That, that means that you will get all of your rev revenue. But I think here's the twist. If, you, if your revenue reached somewhere around, I think that was a million dollars, if you reach that, then Shopify will deduct 50%, 15% of that revenue. So if you don't reach that $1 million um, cap, then they will not deduct anything from that. So just don't reach a million dollar and you'll be fine. Otherwise they will deduct 15%, one five. But it's not really that bad. To be honest, last time I think they, will deduct, they are deducting somewhere around 20%. But now it's just 15%, so it's much better. 5% off, I think that's not too bad. So yeah, the good news is even if you, if you don't reach a million dollar um, revenue, then and Shopify will not deduct from your revenue, or will not deduct anything from your revenue. So that's really good. And yeah, there were so many updates last night. Shopify is upgrading the online store page or the online store part or section and they called it online store 2.0 which kind of like disappointing they could have made something much better i don't know like we are better than woocommerce some somewhere around that but i'm just kidding <laughs> but what's good about it is that from now on or not from now on maybe in a couple of uh, months or maybe next month i don't know i don't know when they're going to uh, publish it exactly but yeah, from, from that time, Shopify will look like WordPress, I think. Or yeah, WordPress. Because it's going to be modular now. Like if you remember um, in the home page, you can like uh, make blocks, right? Or sections. If you want to display the um, products collection in the home page, you can do that. If you want to create, say for example, like a hero section or like an announcement section, countdown, all of that stuff, or some, something like uh, reviews section. You can do that in the home page only, but now I believe Shopify um, decided to allow merchants to also customize other pages like um, product pages, blog page, article page, and so on. And I think they decided to change the templates now it's going to be JSON. You're no longer required to use liquid and templates. You can only use 
you can only use or you can't you still can use what in the templates i think you can only use json you can you can no longer use liquid i think because there's a new shopify theme it's called dawn and in that template files i'll put its link in the video description below so you can check that out so it's a dawn shopify theme and if you take a look at the templates file you see the products page, the 404, and so on. And if you click one of those template files, you will see that the code is no longer liquid. It's, it's a JSON code, which is pretty interesting. So that's what we're going to cover in the, in the future videos. So if Shopify decided to uh, do that, yeah, we're going to talk about that, obviously. And also, with all of these changes, obviously, I'm going to update the courses. So if you are if you enrolled to one of my course, then I'm going to update that. And I'm going to cover um, Shopify, JSON templates, and yeah, and so on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't really... Oh, yeah, one, ma one more thing. Um, Shopify, I think they're creating another framework, and that is called Hydrogen. Smart. I get it. I get it. Because last time it was Shopify Liquid, but now it's Shopify Hydrogen. H2O, Hydrogen to Liquid. Like, yeah, you get it. But anyway, that's it for this video. I'm sorry if this is really short. Uh, it's, not, it's not that much, honestly. And that's all the things that I really liked about the conference. But there's more, and we're going to talk about that in the future videos. I don't want to talk all of that just in this video because it's going to be so long. Uh, the whole point of this video is just to announce that I reached 2K subs. Yeah, that's all. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and for letting me share what I know. Uh, yeah, I hope you're learning from my videos, even just for a little bit. And yeah, I don't want to be too intimate in this video, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.